Reasons why you shouldn't buy a Mini Cooper S R56. Reliability. Let's face it, nobody buys a Mini Cooper S for their reliability. In fact, they're more known for the issues they have. From simple oil leaks, to time and chain issues, to high pressure fuel pump issues, a long list of faults for these cars makes them very expensive to maintain. Miles per gallon. MPG is something people really cherish these days, especially since the rising fuel costs. Unfortunately, the Mini Cooper S isn't the most fuel efficient, which is kind of obvious in a way. I daily drive our Mini Cooper S and I'm on 35 miles per gallon, which is good considering I was on 29 miles per gallon two years ago when we bought the car, but that's because I don't enjoy the car enough. Orcs. Thanks to Apple CarPlay, AUX leads and Bluetooth, it's very rare to see anyone who has a CD in their car these days. But the Mini Coupe S does actually have a built-in AUX port, but it only works for iPhones and iPod Nanos from the era. So you're looking at iPhone 3s and the old iPod Nanos. I have tried many devices and many AUX leads, but none of them seem to play music through the car. But thanks to little plug-in devices you can get, you can plug into your cigarette lighter, you can connect that up to your stereo and you can play your music through there through Bluetooth. Temperature gauge. Like all cars, the Mini Cooper S gets very hot under the bonnet, so it's really surprising it doesn't actually have a temperature gauge right in the driver's face. Instead, they decided to make it very hard to access the engine temperature. You have to go through the menus via the revometer and do some maths. I have a short video on how to actually find it. Funnily enough though, you do actually have an overheating light, but by then it's too late because your head gasket's gone. High maintenance. Going back to reliability, the Mini Cooper S is an extremely thirsty car, not just for fuel, but oil and coolant too. Especially with the common leaks that they have. Nine times out of 10, you'll find a Mini Cooper S that has the valve stem seals gone. So in that case, they burn oil and you'll need to top it up every few days. Coolant isn't so bad, but you'll still need to keep an eye on it, because BMW, bro. All jokes aside though, make sure you always have a spare can of engine oil in the back of your car, because in no time you'll be a master at filling your own engine oil without the need of a funnel. Anyway, that has been a few of the cons of owning a Mini Cooper S R56, but can the pros outweigh the cons? Stay tuned for my next video where I go through the pros of owning a Mini Cooper S R56 and why I think it's such a great car.